And now we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery celebrity, for which I ask my friends to please put blindfolds on. Are the blindfolds all in place, panel? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Good. Will you come in, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? of our mystery guest, you change your form of questioning. You ask one question at a time, in turn, moving clockwise, and we'll begin with Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. Uh, do you have any hit records? <laughs> no. Mr. Darling, why you don't sing Volari? What? Uh, I can't sing. Oh. Our guest asks why I know sing Volari. I tell him I can't sing. I love music, but can't sing. Mr. Sir, one dot and nine to go. Are you a character who, uh, might... <laughs> might possibly have his picture on the sports pages? Two. Two down and eight to go, Miss Francis. Are you well known through, uh, the medium of television? No. Uh, this, this, uh, this I'll have to change. Our guest is well known through the medium of television. M Mr. Payne? Are you primarily, uh, is your job in the entertainment business? No. Oh. <laughs> oh, pardon, pardon yeah. me. Why? Yeah. Mr. Dolly. Yeah. Why they wear masks? Why they wear masks? So they can't see what's going on. Then I wear masks too. What, you mean you don't like to see what's going on? <laughs> no. <laughs> now, I would say this. I think it would be unfair to... <laughs> I didn't realize it was that hot in here. Uh, John, I think it would be unfair to give you a full no on that. Certainly, our guest has won very great renown in television, but this does not exclude... You said entertainment. I said entertainment business. I said entertainment business. This does not exclude other areas. Miss Kilgallen? Uh, did, did John get a complete yes on entertainment that that was his primary function? Or no, I just explained, Arthur. Oh. I think that we would have to agree that this is a large area of interest. On the... Okay. <laughs> well... You want to go ahead, Dorothy? Yes. Yes. I can only think of one thing he could be doing. Is, is our guest also well-known for something outside the area of entertainment? Yes. <laughs> Has our guest ever directed a motion picture? No. That makes it three down and seven to go, Miss Preston. You, <laughs> you sound so doer. Is that to lead us astray? Are you a comedian? <laughs> Sometimes, but not really. Four down and six to go, Mr. Payne. Um, this picture is very powerful, very popular in my country. Very powerful, very popular in your country. Mm -hmm. Do you use accents at all in whatever you do, entertainment or television or motion pictures? Be very sexy. <laughs> Not, I think there we'd have to give you a no, John. This is not rule out that on some rare occasions our guest might use an accent, but not normally or reasonably. In, in <laughs> five down, five to go, Mr. Kilgallen. Are you in any way connected with government or politics? <laughs> no. Just looks like it, that's all. Six down... <laughs> Four to go, Mr. Sir. Does our guest ever go about the country doing one-man shows? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. That's seven down and three to go, Miss Francis. Let's get back to television. Do you do a regular show on television? Irregular. <laughs> Irregular? No, I would say then that I'm by allowed. the standards... Miss Arling, again, by the standards that prevail in television, it would be called a regular show in television, yes. By that I mean, does he do a show every week, for example? 
Yeah, there's a regularity about the scheduling of, of a program man, on which, with which our guest has an association. Mr. Payne? Um, he, you, was that yes that you said? That was yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, he does a regular show. And he's not an entertainer. Oh! <laughs> what I say, what I say? Um, you want a conference? Yes, we'll yeah. have a conference. I bet it's Ed Sullivan. I won that from golf yesterday, you good John. Yeah, I saw it. Won that from good John, rather, golf. I see. You That's the way. Comrade Sullivan. This is the way Ed really looked yesterday after the second nine. He did well on the first nine, but on the second nine, no. Now you know what all the oh, hilarity was about. about. Ed put this on. That said it's deep, actually. But, Ed, I must say that uh, it's good to have you back, as I think everybody in the country knows you went to Europe. But we figured you had to come back and go to work because you start... What season will this be next week? When well, you... this is our... Well, we're just about tied with you. How long have you been on now? Well, we're in our ninth year. Thank you. Well, we're just starting our 11th. Start... Woo! 11th fall season. Now, that's actually an achievement which I'm... I think you can be... Of which you can be very proud because I doubt sure. very much that there's anything in television that's been on as, as uh, long as you have it. Well, we're certainly very grateful. Well, I'm sure you must be. But Toast to the Town begins its 11th year next Sunday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good reason to celebrate, which I dare say you're going to do. Well, actually, the network is putting on the celebration because they're just going to be sort of a spread of CBS stars. In fact, I wrote them down because there's so many of them. In the field of comedy, we'll have Jackie Cleason and Art Carney reunited, Danny Thomas, Phil Silvers, Red Skelton, Alan King and Wayne and Schuster. Mm -hmm. We have Edward R. Murrow and Arthur Godfrey and Perry Mason and Gary Moore, Gail Storm, Spring Byington, Robert Young and his TV family, and they said to be sure and say hello to you. Dorothy Collins singing with Johnny Desmond and Marshall Dillon and all the Western stars, and they're all going to perform. Ed, yeah, that's wonderful, because this program will probably run for about 18 days, and you'll never get back home. <laughs> well, that sounds like a great roster and one that should be there to pay tribute to a, your 11th year. And well, they're uh, actually not paying tribute to me. I'm very happy to get all of them. <laughs> oh, thank you. Ed, yeah. I'd like to say something. Ed, we always talk about you and all your stars. I'd like to say you have one of the nicest wives of anybody in the television business. Well, that's yeah. the nicest compliment that is the compliment I'm most appreciative. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. 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 Thank you.